The wedging table consists of an absorbent surface to take some of the moisture out of the clay and also to prevent the moist clay from sticking to the table. This wedging table is approximately three and a half inches of plaster surrounded by a wood uh, column and then canvas is stretched over the, the plaster. And the reason for the canvas is you do not want chips of plaster uh, winding up in the clay because at a later time they will cause a problem in the fired clay uh, causing a defect. So the uh, plaster is necessary to absorb excess moisture and the canvas is necessary to keep the plaster in place. One of the important things about wedging clay is determining the correct moisture content of the clay for the forming method you're going to use. A lot of beginners are using the clay either much too soft or too hard. Uh, a general rule is if you can touch the clay and see a light fingerprint in the clay, it's at the right consistency. If the clay is gummy and, and, and very smooth and slick, then the clay is probably too wet. On the other extreme, if the clay is very hard and you cannot make any impressions in the clay, it, the forming and the wedging is excessively difficult. With that in mind, use a piece of clay about the size of a large apple you can grip comfortably with both hands and tap it into this cone shape with a rounded bottom and then with slight pressure you're going to push down, roll it back a little bit, push down, roll it back. Things are going correctly. You should see these pleats in the clay and what this does is distribute the moisture content throughout the whole volume of clay. And it's just a repeat of pushing down, rolling back, pushing down. 